to drive to Asheville to visit my friend that lives there. So yeah, we're gonna have a little road trip today. I made it to Asheville. I'm staying in this little camper that's parked on my friend's property and it's so cute. So I wanted to show you guys. So that's where I slept last night. It was honestly very comfortable. Um, tons of pillows. Yeah, I just closed the curtains so it wouldn't be like so bright in here in the morning. Little trinkets and stuff. This fridge is really nice. And she stocked it for me because she's so kind. <laughs> Microwave, little mirror. I think her boyfriend painted this. And then just like pots and stuff. I have like all my stuff right here, so ignore that. Little stove area, she filled the Brita for me. And then I brought some snacks and she put some tea out and stuff. Nice because it's like a little bit private and then I can just walk up to the house whenever and use the bathroom, all that, but I love it. So I guess this is kind of like my office for today. I might sit here and crochet for a little bit. So I don't have Wi-Fi, so I might download some podcasts and sit out here. It's just like really peaceful. Where I live now, like it's so loud and all the cars and stuff in here, it's like so quiet. Don't know what we're gonna do today, but we went to the sauna this morning, which was super nice because I don't have a sauna or like access to a sauna, but she has one at the gym here. I just feel like cleansed. I didn't drive through the downtown on the way here, so I'm really excited to kind of like check out that area too. But where we're at is a little bit more rural, but it's not like far from everything. It's like, I don't know, 15 minutes. Good morning it's saturday yesterday we just went to a coffee shop and then we went to like downtown Asheville, and there's like tons of shops and stuff there recently i've been trying to get myself to wear more jewelry or like just accessorize more so we went into this bead store so i wanted to make a few necklaces this is the first one it's just like some painted beads and then this is like a silk cord and then it just hooks in the back i haven't finished off the back of it yet but it just looks like that very simple and then i made another one because there was like a deal with the cords and this one is just blue with this like red orange cord and this one's a little bit longer which i don't think i like as much so i'm gonna try to like cut it shorter and then i've also been working on this skirt which i'm filming a tutorial for this next week so normally i do like a freehand kind of increase but now i actually like wrote it out where i increase and stuff so i can show you guys how i did it in a concise way i like wrote it out step by step kind of or it's still like flexible but for the most part it's just like how to create this shape where it kind of flares out at the bottom and then i guess i get to keep this one because i've been wanting to make one for myself i just haven't done it so yeah i'm just gonna sit here and crochet for a little bit i think i don't have any service out here so i just keep myself busy by crocheting
back from Asheville now. I had such a fun time. On the way home, I actually took a little detour. I drove down to kind of near Greenville, South Carolina. Elliot was there with one of our friends and our friend's parents lived there, so we were visiting them. I loved being on the lake and it was so pretty. And like the water was honestly really warm. So we just like wake surfed and hung out and it was really cool. So I'm really glad I got to visit kind of like the west side of the Carolinas and drive through that whole area. But now that it's summer, I really wanna get out to the beach too. I'm thinking of doing a little mini cruise shoot out at the beach. But I did buy some fun stuff while I was gone, so I wanted to show you guys that before I leave. I also went to the thrift store and got some fabric, so I'll show you guys that too. I already showed you guys the beads that I got and the necklaces I made from them. Still going strong. <laughs> I also bought like a few more of these glass beads because I think they're so pretty. I'll try to say the price of everything. So all the beads and stuff, I think was like $15 for everything. I have a whole pouch of like charms and beads that I want to add to stuff, but I keep forgetting that I have it. So I need to remember to start putting them on stuff. Then I got this cool coffee table book. It's the Rolling Stones, the 70s. So it's a bunch of pop culture from the 70s and it goes by every year and has a ton of photos and stuff. So I'm really excited about this and it was like 20 bucks. If you're ever in the Asheville area, you have to check out Local Cloth. It's a fiber art store. So like a bunch of different artists in the area sell their work there. They also have like yarn and roving and like felted things. Uh, clothing, like tons of stuff. So if you are in the area and you're interested in fiber arts, check it out, local cloth. I've been pondering this for a while, but I think I wanna start spinning yarn. I don't even have like a drop spindle or anything, but I bought some roving. It's literally the softest thing I ever felt. And I just went with white because I think I wanna try to dye it too and kind of just go all out for my first like yarn spinning and dyeing. So should I dye it? as the roving or dye it as the yarn first. If you have any experience spinning or dyeing, would you dye this first or would you spin it first? I'm sure I could Google it, but I kind of like when you guys give me what you would do. The artist is Basanto. I'll link their website in the description and they're from Marshall, North Carolina. The lady said that all of the artists are in like a hundred mile radius, which is cool because then it keeps it like very local. So this is four ounces of wool. It's $14 and it's merino wool. It's so nice, I can't wait to spin it, but I'm so nervous to try because I don't wanna mess it up. Any tips are welcome for this. And then we just went to a Goodwill and I just got one thing. I found this shirt. I usually don't look in the t-shirt section anymore because I have way too many t-shirts, but I got a t-shirt. It's an Oriole shirt and I immediately bought it because Elliot and I are actually going to Baltimore in a few weeks and we're gonna to try to go to an Orioles game. So I bought this for him and I think I paid $4 for this. And that is everything that I bought in Asheville. So now I'll show you what I bought today at the thrift store. I found some more Barocco yarn, 41% wool, 59% rayon. It's very soft, which is nice. And it was only three bucks. I bought some jute twine cause I kind of want to make like a basket or like a bowl. Even if I don't do that, I'll definitely use this for something. And then all this fabric is from the actual thrift store, scrap thrift, not the scrap exchange. So this is like a tapestry. You're not gonna be able to see it. So I'll just insert a clip of it, but it has a tree and birds on it, which is really pretty. So I thought this would be cool to either make something out of or just hang it up on the wall. Also another like tapestry. I'll insert a full clip of this as well. It's just this really pretty tapestry. It's a lot of fabric. So maybe I'll make like a matching set or something. Still don't know. Maybe I want to keep it as is. I found these two lace curtains, which is perfect because I found a curtain like this before and I made like this tube top out of it. And I was like, I'm never gonna find this fabric again. And this is very, very similar. So maybe I'll make another one of those or maybe even make a dress because I have two whole curtains to work with now because that one was just like a little strip. Now that I've been sewing a bit more, I feel a little bit more confident to work with like this lace material. Very pretty. I think this is a tablecloth, but it has like a really pretty pattern in it. So I feel like it'd be kind of cool to incorporate this stuff in a top or dress or something. I'm so excited about this one. At first I was like, I'm definitely gonna make something out of it, but now I kind of just want to keep it as is. It's like a classic picnic tablecloth. It makes me want to go have a picnic. So I think I'm just gonna keep this forever and have it be my picnic tablecloth as it should be. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited about this. So all of that fabric was $20. Um, 
I didn't really make any clothes this week, which feels a little bit weird, but I was busy visiting, spending time with friends, which is always a great time. So hopefully the upcoming weeks will be filled with making things. I feel very inspired. So make sure you subscribe if you want to watch me make more things. We're almost to 10K here on YouTube, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much for your ongoing support. I also have a few tutorials planned out. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so you know when those are posted. Comment down below what you're excited to make this summer or maybe a new craft or skill that you want to learn because I'm curious what you guys are up to. See you in the next one. Bye!